What I'm doing right now is just watching this pressure gauge and making sure it doesn't get too low. 22-year-old Madison Wagner does best with hands-on learning. And we evacuated about three times with nitrogen. She also speaks fluent chemistry, a challenging science a community college counselor once told her was too difficult for her to pursue. There was a big part of me that did believe what that counselor told me and did think that I couldn't do it. Um, but there was a big drive for me. I wanted to make great medicine, and I knew to do that, I needed to go into science. Madison grew up in Valley Center as a child rodeo champion. She was crowned Miss Rodeo California in 2019, an accomplishment someone else told her she could also not achieve. That was the same year she transferred to Cal State San Marcos, where she will graduate this week with her bachelor's degree in chemistry, the first in her family to do so. But her family is missing someone. He suffered really severely with schizophrenia and depression. The Wagners loved and lost their son and Madison's older brother, Pearson, suddenly to mental illness when he was just 16. The stigma attached to his death is something this young scientist is determined to end while she continues her work in the laboratory. It really inspired me to make a change um, and to contribute what I could to making good medicine and making changes in the world. Big instrument too. Madison has been mentored by Dr. Robert Eif, a Cal State San Marcos associate professor who has trained students who went on to do work in laboratories run by Nobel Prize winners. It's a perfect match for the former rodeo queen determined to prove she is saddled and ready to change the world of medicine. I want students to reach their potential and achieve their goals, even if it's a small one that others have said, nah, don't worry about it. If it's something you want to do, that definitely try. Just solid carbon dioxide. And as you can see, it In August, Madison will begin her PhD in chemistry with the prestigious Scripps Research Institution. She is also the commencement speaker at graduation, where she will mention her brother Pearson and the science she will practice in his memory. She considers that a gift. I just feel very proud for how far I've come and thankful to him and um, thankful to my parents, most of all. Yeah. One college graduate this spring, as strong as the memories she holds on to. M.G. Perez, KPBS News.